Welcome back to the Webby and O'Neill channel from being at Wembley yesterday. We're back doing another video in the woods with the foxes. I hope you all had a fantastic day yesterday. We certainly did. Project Edit Ten Hag, that is truly underway now. Your overall thoughts coming back off that yesterday? Well, you, you mentioned Project Ten Hag is underway. This definitely feels completely different than under Jose Mourinho when we won a few trophies. Now, yeah. you can see the coaching staff, the manager, the players, and most of all, the fans. Yesterday at Wembley, the fans can see it and they believed it and they understand what's going on. Eric Ten Hag is slowly getting this squad and these players back together. The togetherness is unbelievable. You witnessed it on the pitch, the way they played, the way they celebrated, the way the fans celebrated, completely different. I can see us going more and more attempting to get trophies and competing. It is clear to everyone. I am so excited and yesterday brought it out with everyone. Everyone was together yesterday. The fans, yeah. the players in the celebrations throughout the 90 minutes, the tactics, what he did was perfect. We was there and the most important thing was to win that trophy. United just slowed the game down, let them come. They stopped them. They scored the quick goals and then they just got it all together. But that's the project. That's Ten Hag and his tactics. And we all believe it and we can all see it. Good things are coming, not like it was under the Marino. This is here to stay. Yeah, I totally agree with you with the tactics yesterday. You got it absolutely bang on. I thought a lot of... Well, large parts of the game yesterday as well. We had to defend, but I thought yesterday, look, we all want to see goals, attacking play, but that defending yesterday as a team from Manchester United, I thought it was absolutely bang on. And I thought, me personally, don't get me wrong, it's still a bit hazy, the game uh, at the moment for me, and I still need to watch it again. But I thought Aaron wan when he come on yesterday, I thought he was absolutely superb. And I'd maybe go as far as saying it was his best performance in a Manchester United shirt. I mean, every single tackle he went in for against Sam Maximam and others, he won the ball, he was pushing high up. But again, there was a lot of other players on there. You can yes. go for Varane, Martinez, you know, the whole back four, the whole team, Casemiro. Yeah. They all were soldiers there yesterday. But I thought Aaron wan Pesaco to come on in at half-time in a cup final, a massive game, and perform the way he did. He deserves credit, that lad, because a lot of us out there have knocked him, didn't think he was good enough for to be at Manchester United, and I thought he was absolutely exception, exceptional yesterday. Yeah, well, I've got to put in, right, mm. an unsung hero yesterday, and it was Vegost. Yeah. I looked at Vegost after the game, and he could not believe where he was. His work rate in that game yesterday was just, it was superb. Yeah. It was the commitment, and that's what I look for. It's the commitment to the cause. And he, he just, to me, yeah. it was everything. And everyone else was the same. The commitment, the tactics were spot on. Got the goals, now you don't concede. Mm. And it was easy. Just blocking through the middle. Right through the middle, you had Martinez, you had uh, Varane, oh. and you had Casemiro blocking him, and it was going out wide. And like Kieran says, when wan -Bissaka come on, and it was a great tactical move because Delo had been booked, yeah. and wan -Bissaka summed it all up. He got everything. He had his job to do, like all the rest of the players, and they all did the job. And the job was all about winning, and that's what we did. It was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, he's, he's definitely an important cog in the wheel, uh, Wegos, with his, his running and his pressing. And it's official now with Rashford. He's been awarded that goal yesterday. Yes, yeah. So he also gets an assist, Wegos. So I totally agree with you. But what I'm thinking, I don't know if I'm still a bit giddy from yesterday. But oh, we you are. Be, you are. And we all should be out there. Yeah, but you are. We're still left in two cup competitions, the FA Cup and yeah. the Europa League. I'm still getting that feeling we're going to get to another final this season. Or am I being over giddy? I don't know, but... No, I, I, I see, and you sh you're right to be over giddy, right? Because it's your own eyes what you can see. Yeah. It's not about one thing, it's about the collective. Everything is in place. The players want to play every game. No one's moaning about little injuries and all that, right? No one wants to be left out of the team. They all want to be on the pitch. Yeah. And going forward, this team there, I think for the rest of the season, until United get beat, that's when I think there might be a little slight halt on it. But I can't see United getting beat. So the possibilities of getting in other cup finals and, and to be honest with you, 
we are in the title challenge, right, to win the league yeah. until we lose a game. That's how it is. And at this moment, the players don't believe they're going to lose a game. That's how good the camp, the players all around, us fans, are in at this moment. And it's not about the Caribou Cup. The Caribou Cup is the lowest of the cups, OK? Yeah. But what you have to do, you have to start somewhere. And I spoke to Newcastle fans yesterday, spoke to United fans yesterday, and the one question I kept saying to myself and saying to them was, did you really believe that you would be here at a final? And every time, the answer was no. That's where we're at, the level we're at. And we can go for other cups. We can still stay in that title challenge. We're good enough and the players believe it. And the management, the best picture I've seen was of the manager and all the coaching staff yesterday. What a great team they are because they have given us the belief back and I'm telling you, we're going for it. Yeah, you, like you just said there, the pictures yesterday, we was inside the ground yesterday and you've seen what it meant to Casemiro, what it meant to Wegos when they had the trophies and they were lifting it up to the fans and I think Casemiro come out with some comments. I've not seen a lot, to be honest with you, since yesterday on social media or any media outlets to do with Manchester United but someone was telling me Casemiro said it's his most important Trophy is won or something, or that unbelievable statement, that. something like that. And he's a multiple Champions League winner. Yeah. You know, the quote there that I just said, like, get the right quote in the comments, but yeah. it was something along the lines of that, wasn't it? And it's just like, you know, for a man to come into the squad, you know, with what he's won, the experience, you know, yeah. like people like Varane, you know, to say things like that, like you say, it's a happy camp, but the fans, us, and everyone out there, we can feel it. So, you know, we're left in two cup competitions. We're still in a, a title race in my eyes, like you say, until we get beat. Yeah. But I just can't see us getting beat. Yeah. Well, I really can't. No, I think what, what Casemiro's alluding to there is he's come to Manchester United from Real Madrid and he cannot believe the fans, mm -hmm. the club, the size of it, what the project is, yeah. what he's got Ten Hag, Ten Hag's got everyone believing and Casemiro was bought into it straight away and has been outstanding. That's the man, that's the leader and in that on that pitch and in that middle, Casemiro, he just distributes the ball, sets the play and everyone's behind it. And with Martinez and Varane behind, I've seen another picture, I know I'm going on a little no, bit. No, no, right? no, go for it. I'm, uh, Martinez and Varane, after the game, the way them two were hugging each other was unbelievable. They were solid in that middle yesterday and they believe in it. And that's what us fans can see. And, that, and at the end of the day, that's what it's all, all about. Having the belief, having the belief that your players want to work hard for us and it's all there. And Project 10 Arg, to me, is bang on. It will take time because we've got a big squad overall in the summer. We've probably, hopefully, got changes with the uh, owners and everything else like that. So it's all there. The project is fully underway. This manager, right, mm. is absolutely spot on. And he's the only manager since Fergie what's got what we want. And it's a winning, winning mentality. Yeah, he totally gets it. And like you say with Fergie, you can see similarities between them in the way he talks in his press conferences. And I'm sure today, even the day after the cup final, the focus now is West Ham on Wednesday. That's right. He won't let the celebrations, you know, no. get over the top. You know, it may be something that you'll celebrate more in the summer when the league season's over. But now the focus is on Wednesday against West Ham. And he don't want his players taking their eye off the ball, so to speak. But like you said yesterday, it was just great to see the whole squad together you know, up in arms, yeah. you know, all around each other, hugging yeah. each other, just like all the fans were, you know, the amount of hugging I was doing to fans next to me yesterday, yeah. like falling all over the chairs with my son up in yeah. the air. It was just an absolute fantastic day. Well, ju just before we finish up here, what I would like to say to everybody who watches the YouTube channel, yeah. we was there for the weekend and the amount of people what came up to us yeah. said hello, shook our hands, keep it going, we love what you're doing and everything else like that. A, a big thank you from us, yeah. from the channel, from Webby, and it's just unbelievable. And I do really, truly thank everybody yeah. who came up, right, out of the way, said hello, and it was like hundreds yeah. of people, and we truly, truly thank you all. Yeah, because we just see ourselves, we're just Manchester United supporters, just like you guys out there. There's no script here, everything's just off the cuff. 
and we just say what we think. We're honest in our opinions. We don't always get it right, but like my dad Tony said there, uh, like yesterday, the amount of people that would come up to me, my dad, uh, it was truly humbling because we just see ourselves as match going reds and that's it. But uh, to get them kind words that we got all, from a lot of years, yeah, it does sink in, doesn't it, now yeah. and again, and it, it does make things... Uh, and for those fans really who were sat at home waiting for us to do a video, well, we do apologise for that as well, because I'm telling you now, we was absolutely shattered, done in. I had dirt on me, my face was hanging. I was physically, physically, emotionally gone, yeah. but wrecked as well, because he kept <laughs> snoring Saturday night and kept me awake, but they... That's what you expect. At least we weren't sharing a bed together. No, but, that's um, right, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, after we finished yesterday, coming out of the ground, my legs, my, my legs, my ankles, my toes, they're all in bits, to be honest with you, today. Yeah. Uh, my shins have gone, but that's what you get on an away day as well. So we all had a great day. Hope you've all had a great day. Whether you was at the game or not yesterday, yeah. it's a massive thing to be a Manchester United fan. Yes. And we all see your support on the channel in the comments. So if you can keep that up, It'd be absolutely brilliant. We love seeing the interaction and that's that's why we do it. We only keep doing it because you out there want to see us and yeah. listen to our reviews and get involved amongst yourselves as well in the comments. So listen, it's much appreciated. I don't think I'd be able to put it into words how, yeah. how much we do appreciate it, to be honest. Back tomorrow, West Ham match preview, FA Cup. The bricklayers are back. The bricklayers are back. Up. They're going to put a wall up. So we'll be back with a video for that. So yeah. what we'd like you to do is smash that like button, get your comments in and those who were at Wembley and had a weekend away, yeah. my advice, get back to bed because yeah. that's what we're going to do later on. Thank you so much. Yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. We'll be back tomorrow. Thank you.